What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked L battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with an absolute banger of a team that features weakest policy Solgaleo, Choice Scarf Kyogre, Gale Wings Talonflame, and last but not least, Swift Swim Bear Tick. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Seriously, shout out to all my subscribers. We just passed 12,000 subs. That blows my mind. It really just blow my mind. But before we get into today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the creator of this team, James Beck. James, shout out to you, my man. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for the community. It really does go a long way. So I will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. You guys want to go check them out? Definitely go check them out. But let's get started here. Top left corner with the first Pokemon on the team. It's going to be the one and only Talonflame. And Talonflame was really, really good back when Isle of Armor first came out. But now that Restricted Mons are all here, a bunch of Pokemon counter up this Pokemon. But still definitely fun to use. We got Gale Wings as its ability. Rocking out with the Safety Goggles as item. And then we got a great move set of Overheat for stab damage. Quick Guard to block first turn priority moves. Tailwind for Speak Control. And Taunt to Taunt opposing support Mons. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be the one and only Kyogre with the Drizzle ability alongside with the Choice Scarf as its item. We got Thunder, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and Ice Beam. Probably the best moveset for Kyogre with a Choice Scarf. Middle left is going to be Raichu over here. Raichu is great at a uh, proc and weakness policy for Solgaleo, and he's really good at speed control and controlling the battle with fake outs. We got Lightning Rod on him as well to protect Pokemon such as Talonflame and Kyogre from Electric moves. And then we got the Focus Ash, obviously as, as its item because, you know, it's the best item for that Pokemon. We got Nuzzles for Paralyzers, Brutal Swing the Proc Policy, Fake Out for Flinches, and Helping Hand to make Ally Pokemon do even more damage. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Solgaleo over here, and I feel like this Pokemon is going to be our Dynamax Mon. Him and Baratek are probably going to be the two Pokemon that we Dynamax for the squad. Maybe Kyogre sometimes, but I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. We got Full Metal Body as this thing's ability. You guys already know the weakness policy as is his item. And then we got Sun Sail Strike for Stab, Psychic Fangs for Stab, EQ for Coverage, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Fifth Pokemon on squad is bottom left corner. That is going to be Obama Snow with that Assault Vest. Obviously, has a Snow Warning as its ability to get some weather control. Then we got Blizzard, Energy Ball, Earth Power, and Ice Shard for first turn priority. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Swift Swim Bear Tick over here. Swift Swim Bear Tick's definitely a cool Pokemon. It's going to be able to pair it well with this Kyogre because you know Kyogre can set the rain. Then Bear Tick can be double speed, but it also has the Life Orb to make it do more damage. We got Icicle Crash for Stab, Liquidation for our coverage move, plus it will do more damage in the rain. And we got Throw Chop for coverage, and last but not least, Protect on this lovely little one. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, I don't even have to say it. The rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to get some wins with this Swift Swift Bear Tick Series 12 team. Rolling into battle number one, and we're going up against a heavy Trick Room team right here. He's got Dialga and Calyrex as its uh, restricted mons, and he has Snorlax, Torkoal, Lipar to set the Trick Room, and Indeedee for its final mon. Actually, three Pokemon can set the Trick Room. Lipar can do it, Calyrex can do it, and actually Indeedee can do it, and Dialga can do it. So he has a bunch of Pokemon to set Trick Room. He's definitely going to try to roll into that, but how should we play this one? How should we go into this? We could roll Talonflame. Taunt early on. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's roll Talonflame here, maybe try to get a quick Taunt going, and then we're going to roll out with... Uh, Who's my next call? Could go Kyogre. Just we scarf Kyogre is looking real good. He used to follow me. Wants to come out here. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I mean, do we think he's gonna go follow me? He could definitely go follow me. That could be awful. That could be awful. We can just go straight into follow me. We could uh trying to figure out any ways to kind of counter this. Hmm. What I do? What could Jeans do here? Guess this is our best bet. These two right here as we lead. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. We're going to bring Solgaleo in the back end and then uh, Bear Tick as our final mod. So let's rock out. Let's lock it in. Look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before battle number one even starts, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. Do you guys like meta teams or off meta teams? I know some people are just like, yo, let me use the best team on the ladder to push as high as I can. And some people are just like, yo, let me use some crazy off meta team and see how high I can push with it. So definitely let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. I'm a little bit in between. I'm a little bit in between, but I feel like I like uh, using off meta teams a little bit more. Something like with a couple meta Pokemon and, and uh, a couple off meta Pokemon, that, that's more my style. But he's going to roll into Indeedee and Snorlax. I'm with it. Oh, yeah, I think he's going for Belly Drum combo. Could totally be going, be going for Belly Drum combo. But I feel like we should be thriving here. Nice little water spell coming at him. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I think we should taunt, or at least attempt to taunt. Or we can go into a tailwind, but tailwind really don't matter. I think we just attempt to taunt here, right? You guys follow me, you guys follow me. That's fine, right? I'm with it. Let's let's go for taunt. Let's go for taunt into the water spout. A little bit of water spout action. Get off some mean damage. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up just withdrawing Indeedee. We're just going to straight up go for this. 
straight up go for this lovely little taunt here. So this could still be good because he's changing the weather here. If he wants to go for a belly jump, he's going to be taunted. It's going to be beautiful. I do dig that a lot. I do dig that a lot. Water Spout's going to poke here. How much damage are we going to get off on Torkoal? A lot. A lot of damage onto the Torkoal. A lot of damage onto the Torkoal, which we love. Taunt's going to pop here. We're going to say, hey, yo, Storm Axe. If you're trying to belly jump, we're not going to allow it. We are not going to allow it. Yeah, get out my face. Get out my face. Cool. So, from here, I could just drop it over here. Well, I'm thinking of hard swapping. At this point, I could hard swap into, uh, say, Solgaleo. Not too bad here. Not too bad. I'm kind of digging Solgaleo here. With the hard swap. Actually, I'm going to stay in with Talonflame. We have Overheat right here, Rock. I'm going to Overheat right in this slot. Let's just keep a Water Spout rolling. I play all day. We have the Heat rolling. He set the Heat for us. Might as well get off some damage here. He's going to end up withdrawing the Torque on going into who? Who you going into? Back in the Indeedee, maybe? No, Dialga's going to come out here. Dialga. Water Spout's flying. Aye. Send it this way. We'll chipping up some damage. And more importantly, we're going to get off some more damage onto the Snorlax. Which I think he's ready to pop a Trick Man for this. Overheat's coming out here. And he dodges it. That's kind of fine. Oh, he's self-destructing. How dare you? <laughs> this dude's self-destructing. <laughs> How much damage is he really going to do here? Talonflame. I, I kind of want you to eat this, right? Talonflame does eat. I think we have to swap Rakai over here. Swap Rakai over here. Now we can drop an Overheat into the Dialga slot. We do outspeed. I don't think there's no point of popping a... Uh, Popping a tailwind. Because A, my Pokemon already out speed. And B, if he wants to pop a trickery, he's just gonna pop a trickery. Let's see who he goes out into. It's gotta be Calyrex, right? No, indeed, he doesn't have Calyrex, I just realized. He just showed all four of his Pokemon. So he's probably gonna go for a follow me here. Um hmm. That would be the time to definitely swap Kyogre. I'm definitely gonna swap Kyogre and I can go for another. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for an overheat, and I'm going to swap Kyogre into uh, Solgaleo here. And then probably just die next next turn. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Talonflame did its job. Did a wonderful job. Protecting Belly Jump. I don't really mind if the Trick Room's coming out here. That's fine. Torkoal's in the back end here. We're on, like, 1 HP. So, I mean, Torkoal, you kind of have to worry about. I mean, at least he can't erupt, though. Definitely the scary thing. Follow me does come out here, and he's going to pop a trick room. So we get off our swap with a Kyogre. We're going to try to save him for the back end and later. And we'll see how this one plays out. Overheat's coming in hot. Yeah. Send it. And not bad damage. Half on Indeedy. I can dig it. I can, I can dig it all day. I can dig it all day. There's a trick room. Let's get rolling. Here. Wait, Dynamax Solgaleo here? Thinking about it. I could Dynamax Solgaleo. Or I could save it for Bear Tick. I think we have to Dynamax Solgaleo. A little bit better here. Definitely a little bit better here. But from here, what do I do? I don't even know what I do. Just throw a taunt. We go for more damage. I could swap. I don't want to swap. I want my. I want this thing to go down. I want this talent flame to die. Okay, I guess we'll overheat. I guess we'll overheat. And we'll go for a max quake just into this slot. The reason we want him to go for max quake is because he has Diago, who he's going to die to max here. And that's a special attack. So special defense boost will be huge for your boy. It will be huge. It will be lovely. It will be lovely. You know, we got to stay hydrated. Oh, we sip it on that water. Let's see what this guy's cooking with. So, Diago's going to get this Dynamax. Um, I'm hoping it's not weakness policy, right? That would be a huge problem for us. Actually, he should go first. I'm hoping he procs my policy. But if I had to guess, another problem, he's going to come out here. He's going to start soaking up shallots, which is totally fine. I just want him to take on my Talonflame already. It would be smart for him not to take out Talonflame because I'm not swapping him out. But yeah, yeah, I really want talent for him just gone. Just so I can get out another Pokemon on the squad. <laughs> I just want him gone. I just want to bring out somebody else. Actually, I kind of like wasting these Trick Room turns. Because I kind of just want to wait out for Kyogre to get out there. Kyogre can do some work. He can do some work. Let's see what he does from here. Yeah, 434 HP, which is a gorgeous number. This thing's just going to rock a Steel Spike into Talon Flame, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Take out my Talon Flame all day. So he takes out Talon Flame, and he's not going for the Follow Me. Decide not to go for the Follow Me. So he's going to get a defense boost up against a physical attacker, and I'm going to get a nice little special defense boost. But, getting, but again, I, I'm hoping this thing's not with this policy proc. This is going to be ugly. Okay, no, it's Life Orb. That's beautiful. Bandit Force going to fire, and that's going to do nothing. No damage. No damage. We send it this way. He's going to be able to soak it up all day. But still, get off some damage on him. Not too bad. I'm, I'm really using that move just for the uh, special defense boost, so damage I wasn't too worried about. Special defense boost out and about, and we can now bring out. We're gonna bring out Bear Tick, baby. 
and protect them. Yeah, I'm with the protect all day. Like I said, if I can waste out trick room turns, we could really be thriving here with Kyrie in the back end. Setting the rain and just origin pulsing out. Really good turns for us. So let me see trick room turns. Three. So let's protect the bear. And let's just rock into another max group. What do we go after? Dialga or, Indi or Indeedee? You definitely just want to boost this thing special defense. I don't care about my damage here. I really do not. I care about wasting out these trick room turns and just like boosting my special defense for the squad. Because again, three special attackers in the back. If I can go a plus three on special defense, it's going to be a gorgeous little sight. He goes for Steel Spike. My boy Beartech says, Hey, yo, that's a tasty snack. Thank you for protecting me. And we say in an extra turn. Which is gorgeous. Gorgeous and lovely. So again, we're just wasting out these turns. Wasting out these turns. But that defense boost really, really doing me dirty. Really doing me dirty. Expanded Force comes out here. My boy Soul Galio is going to be able to soak. And we're going to roll off from here. I think I should be fine with this battle. Unless he, unless he starts critting me, right? Unless he starts getting critical hits. Quick's flying through here. Send it, baby. Send it. We'll chipping up some more damage. <laughs> slowly chipping up damage. He's slowly getting all this, uh, all these boosts right here. Do I do some damage on the Indeedee here? What's my plan? Our sunlight does fade. Does fade out. Do I do some damage over onto Indeedee? Might have to. I think I'm going to do that. I think we're just going to go for, I think we're going to double down in, into Indeedee here. But again, I just got to keep going for these special defense boosts. Just gotta keep rolling out with these, but I'm hoping you can proc my policy so you can do that. I just want the pro the policy proc. I just want to proc. Let's see, I think I think we could be good with this battle. So Galia with these boosts it might come down to like a three v one situation because he's gonna take out Bear Tick here. I'm gonna have to pull out Kyogre. I do not have protect on Kyogre. He has one more turn left in Trick Room. He's probably gonna take out Kyogre and then I can just start freely sending EQs left and right. And EQ's gonna be super effective on the Dialga, on the Torkoal. Well, Torkoal's on like 1 HP anyway. And then this Indeedee should go low on HP after this as well. So, this is gonna be super close. Max Lightning's gonna fire, and he's gonna go after my Solgelia with this. That's easy, dude. We soaked that up all day, and he changes the terrain to electric. Goes to electric terrain. Electric terrain. And with that going on, we might be able to take out Indeedee here. It's gonna be a gorgeous sight. What are you going? What's he going for? Expanded Force into Bear Tech. Bear Tech's dead. All right, Bear Tech's not eating this up. Eat it up somehow? Oh, he does, yo. The special defense boost is lovely. Beartick, can you take this out for me? Can you take him out? Let's go, yo. Beartick coming in hot with a critical hit, yo. My boy Beartick coming in hot. That works beautifully because now we get off some more damage onto this Dialga. Beartick's going to go down to 4 HP, and this battle's pretty much GG's, right? Pretty much GG's. Special defense boost coming out here again. Uh, and we do not take out Dialga, but still. One EQ. We're just going to send it. We're just going to look for this, for, this, uh, for this victory here. Oh, I could protect my Solgaleo. That'd be my play. Yeah, I might as well. I might as well just protect them. Make sure nobody can hit them, then bring out Kyogre after Trick Room's gone. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Let's solidify the battle. Because say I don't protect, and he gets a critical on me, this could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem for us. Do you know Torkoal's coming out here? He's going to go for the Heat Wave. I'm going to double protect here. Double protect. Double protect. There's a little Torkoal on, like, 2 HP. <laughs> But yeah, what a first battle. We rolled out pretty strong here. Rolled out pretty strong. We used our defense boosts right to our advantage. Once I noticed he had all special attackers, I'm just like, I'm just going to max quake, max quake, max quake, boost my special defense, and then just hope he doesn't get a crit. We can legit just soak up any shot and, and stall out this battle pretty well. But from here, we're going to double protect. I think he does cancel. Right, one more turn left in trick room. Yeah, one more turn left in trick room. Double protects. Easy call. Easy call with two Pokemon that are slower than us. We protected. Double one down. We'll play it safe. We'll play it smart. And we'll grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Your boy is thriving. Protect from the bear tick. Yeah. Look at him, yo. Good old bear tick. Good old bear tick. Shields up for Solgaleo. And then these guys are going to just say, you know, go for that heat wave. Right? Yeah. Heat wave block. What was that heat wave? Another block. Blocking it up. Blocking it up. And what's this thing going for? He's going for a Thunderbolt. And guess what? Block. Get that thing out of my face. We were soaking up both of them. He was just going to proc policy. But from here, I think bear tick is, uh, I think bear tick's a little slower. But I really do not care if, uh, Bear Tick dies here. I'm sending the EQ. I'm sending the EQ. We're getting right after us, and we're taking out both these guys here. Battle was canceled. There it is, yo. GG's 1-0 to get this video started. Time to go back-to-back. Back. Battle number two coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. Regiram, Groudon, Grimmsnarl, Togekiss, who I absolutely love, but don't see it too often. And then he has Rillaboom and 
Uh, what is that? Not, not Tornado's Thunders. It is Thunders. Okay, how should we play this one? How is Jean's gonna roll out here? Um, we could go Talonflame as lead just to set up Talonflame Control, or we could just go Raichu Sogelio, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Raichu Sogelio is looking real fine. Real fine. It's looking real good. I'm leading that all day long. All day long. Raichu Sogelio, get on in here. Choice Scarf Ground on, obviously, that's coming to back end. And then finally, we gotta bring Bear Tick. It's gotta be same squad. It's gotta be same squad. Actually, it's not same squad. We used Talonflame last battle. I'm with it all day. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves back-to-back -back wins for today's video. But yeah, this seems this seems definitely cool. I, I like the Pokemon on the Bear Tick, the Town Flame. I love it. I love Town Flame. When Isle of Armor first came out, Town Flame was so good. Everybody was rocking out with it. I remember everybody was Dynamaxing that Pokemon. Another Pokemon that everybody was using uh, back then was Braviary. Braviary was a phenomenal Dynamax Pokemon. Right off the rip, everybody would lead it, Dynamax them. Max Hair Stream, roll out the battle from there. Because it would hit like an absolute truck. It had Defiant as, a, as an ability too. And then it would, could just give free speed boost, which is stab damage as well. I miss Braviary. I haven't used Braviary in like a year, dude. And Braviary used to be top tier, yo. Braviary used to be phenomenal. You guys have any other Pokemon that you guys remember being top tier? Let me know in the comment section down below. Because I always like looking back. I remember, uh, what was that? Uh, Durant. Durant I used to use. And I used to call him Kevin Durant. <laughs> it was hilarious. I used to use them a lot. Hustle, Durant, Mudsdale I used to use. They were a lot of fun back in the day. They, they pushed me. Those A Durant and a Mudsdale team pushed me highest I ever been. That was like top 500. I was killing it with them. I was killing it. But he's going to lead Regiram alongside with... Ooh, Regiram's kind of scaring me. Could nuzzle him. So I'm thinking of doing. Maybe just swapping. Reshiram scary with the fire, so you know, let's swap in the Kyogre here and set rain. I'm not gonna lie, if he Dynamax and go for a flare, that could do me dirty. Let's see what he does here. We do have Nuzzle flying out here. I wonder if he's gonna Dynamax. We're hoping he's not Dynamaxing. We're hoping he's kind of just going for like a blue flare or something. It's definitely scaring me. We do not like that. We do not like this little Pokemon. Do not Dynamax him. We which all is Reggie. Okay, oh, dude, we could have just, we could have just won the game. He swaps into Groudon, and Nuzzle's gonna do nothing. Are you kidding me? And he gets off the drought. Get out my face. I'm still dropping some air. I still, I'm still dropping this uh, Origin Pulse. Even through this. Reflect's gonna set up. That's fine. He's gonna set up a light screen next turn. Stupid game, dude. If I would've Dynamax, we could've just won the game. Nuzzle's gonna come out here. Nothing. All right, you know what? Helping hand coming out here. I ain't playing around. Water Spout? Yeah, Water Spout's gonna do more damage. Run it. I don't care about the drought. We running this. He's gonna set up light screen. That's fine. We're getting after this. We are getting after this. You can have the weather. That's fine. Is he setting up the screen? Light screen does come out here. You son of a biscuit. Wow, dude, we could have just set up our Solgaleo and pretty much won the battle. Here's a nice, lovely water spout. Oh, send it this way. And get off some big damage. Beautiful. 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 This thing's going to go for a blade, probably, right? Miss my Kyogre, please. Nope. Let's not miss my Kyogre. And Kyogre's going to take some damage. Right, she's going to go down. Focus Ash. And I'm going to have to swap my Kyogre. I'm going to have to swap my Kyogre here. 100%. 100%. We'll nuzzle you. And I got to swap my Kyogre into... Solgaleo? I'm leaning towards Solgaleo. Do I swap him into Beartick? We'll swap him... Oh, this is tough. This is real tough. You know what? We're going to swap him into Beartick. We're going Beartick. We are going with the lovely little Beartick. Just because once Raichu dies here, if Baratek survives, I can swap back in the ring and roll off from there. Scary face coming in hot. That's fine. He's going to scary face my, uh, my Baratek. That's fine. And then Nuzzle's going to poke here. Oh, uh, send it that way. Give me the paras on you. Paralyze, 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 paralyze. Blades flying through here again. Raichu's dead. Baratek's able to eat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now we get back out, my boy. Kyogre, who should still be able to outspeed uh, Groudon even after the... Uh, even after a scary face. We're going to drop an Origin Pulse. This one's going to be tough. I don't know, dude. This one's tough. We missed our chance at Dynamax. We really did. I'm just going to go Origin Pulse. I'm going to take my speed back from my Bear Tech. And I'm going to go in Soul Galio here. That's my play. I'll say Bear Tech for the back end. Maybe Bear Tech can clutch up. And we're going to Dynamax or Solgaleo. He's not playing all day. He protects Kai or he's Groudon. We'll go with that. 
And he's looking for a double scary face. He's looking for a double scary face. But again, I think my boy should be able to outspeed him. If we can KO this Grimstarl here, we can be thriving. Where's your pulse poking out here? Let's get it. Drop it. Take this thing out. Take out Grimstarl, please. Take him out. Get him out of my face. Wow, dude. Grimstarl soaking. He is soaking. All right, we're going for another Origin Pulse. And at this point, we got Dynamax. And who do you have in the back end? What's Reggie? What's Reg Ram? And who, who else do we have? Who else do we think he's having? I'm guessing Tokyo. Oh, I'm guessing Rillaboom. I'm guessing Rillaboom, man. I'm thinking he's going to swap into Rillaboom. I really want to really get a boost here. We're going to go into a Steel Spike here. I think he's going to swap in the Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom's got to be his final mind. He's going to swap Groudon right here, right now, right? I think that's his call all day. Good job, Steel Spike. We are going to drop this lovely little Steel Spike. And he's going to go for another Scary Face here. It's a little tough. That's a little tough. He's going to withdraw the ground. Okay, so Groudon gets to withdraw. And he's going to go on the Regiram. Fine. Fine. Reggie, Reggie's coming out here. And we are going to be able to get off another Origin Pulse, which is gorgeous. Which is just lovely. The big damage. Grimstarl should go down. And we're going to get a defense boost right here. Which could clutch up. Which could definitely clutch up. We still have the Bear Tick in the backhand. Which Bear Tick can be alright. He can be alright. But I really need him in the Swift Swim. He's kind of slow with that. But still. So Galea's going to try to try to get some work done. Do some heavy lifting. And uh, get some KOs here. Because I don't think we have one KO. But we have a lot of damage dealt. We have a lot of damage dealt. Steel Spike's going to fly through here. How much damage is it really going to do? Nothing. Not really. Not very effective. Reggie Ram soaks that up. So, but more importantly, we get this lovely defense boost. And Kyogre's going to be able to get off a nice huge turn with Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse comes out here. Who dodges it? Reggie Ram dodges. Get out of my face, dude. Please take out the Grimstarl. Take out the Grimstarl. Grimstarl, get home. Go home. Cool. Grimstarl, out of here. Beautiful. Get him gone. Grimstarl, gone. He's probably going to bring back out Groudon. And I'm kind of cool if he brings back out Groudon. I'm kind of cool. We're plus, we're plus on the defense board. I'm fine with that. I really do think he's going to come back out here. But him not bringing out Rillaboom yet is leading me to think that he did not bring it. Let's see who he... I, let's see who he's going with. He's got to be Groudon, right? Yeah, he brings back out Groudon. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. And I think he's going to Dynamax Reggie. I think Reggie is going to get the Dynamax. We're going for an Origin Pulse. And... Is Quake? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we quake him for show. For show. He's definitely Dynamax Reg Ram. I'm kind of scared a little bit. But I'm thinking he might go for a Blades here. Blades could proc my policy. And we we might be able to pick up a big KO. But I'm, I'm definitely terrified right here of this Max Flare. Uh, I'm definitely scared of it. I'm definitely scared of it. I'm terrified of it. <laughs> I'm terrified of it. In the heat too. In the heat, don't do me dirty. We got a lot of HP, but it's still scary. We do go first, though, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. Gives us a special defense boost. We love it. We love it. How much damage are we going to do? Not too bad. Not too bad. But more importantly, like I said, that defense boost is phenomenal. And it shows that we just outspeed these Pokemon, both of them. That's great for us. Special defense boost out on the board. Kyrie, can you go next? No, he does not. Flare's flying through here. So, Galio, tasty snack, right? Easy all day. Ah! Uh, even with the boost. Even with the boost. Yo, even with the boost, he does his dirty. He does his dirty. Origin Pulse is going to fly here. Any KOs? Rough, rough news, rough news. Real rough news. Blade's going to fly through here. And we dodge that. Okay. Bear Tick, get on out here, dude. Let's get some work done, Bear Tick. Let's get some work done. Okay. Uh, oh, dude, if he didn't scary face us, we could be we could be doing pretty good. But there's no way Bear Tick's going to outspeed measure him, right? So, go okay, should be faster than Bear Tick. Just that dang drought. Yeah, 158. And 156, 112, yeah. So, Reshiram should be faster. Even Kai, even Groudon should be faster. We gotta drop the Sword Impulse, obviously. And we'll go for the Icicle Crash. Best bet. Definitely your best bet. Let's see how this one plays. Reshiram should go first. Yeah, Warm Wind coming in hot. E, dude. Leave me alone. Eat this up. Nope, we dead. We are dead. And we're gonna go one and one for today's video. One and one. Not for today's video. For right now. Because you guys know we already have that third and final battle lined up for you guys. Wow, dude. He definitely got weather control on us and took control of this battle. Big time. Big time he did. And that scary face was huge because just think, if we had an origin pulse there, that would have taken out the ground on and we would have been able to take out the res ram as well. And would turn it into a 2v1 situation. The solid battle there. Our opponent played some good swaps, got weather control, and ended up beating us.
Third and final battle on its way right here. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex in DD team right here with Yvelta, uh, Raichu, Snorlax, and Wimscott. So Wimscott could definitely be here for uh, Speed Control and going out from there. So I kind of want to leave Raichu, but the Calyrex just does me so dirty. Calyrex does me dirty. I don't want to go on the Choice Scarf Kyogre here. Could take Tailwind. I think Kyogre and Bear Tick is solid. I really want to go into the Raichu Solgaleo combo, but if you lead Shadow Rider Calyrex, we can really get dumped on. We might not even want to bring Solgaleo because he has Yavelta and Calyrex. They just, they just do me dirty. They just do me so dirty. We're going to bring a Bomb Snow here. And then do we, do we lock in Solgaleo? I guess we'll bring him in the back end. Oh my, this one might be tough for us. Might be tough for us because that Yavelta rolls out with foul play and really just one tap Solgaleo. You know, Shadow Rider Calyrex is too strong. Can do some big damage onto me. We're just, mm, tough news here. Tough news with this team. Two restricted mons that are just powerhouses. That's tough. The Yvelta is so good up against Solgaleo. Legit can one tap it with one foul play. Even Dynamax. Just foul play, feel later. Especially if I if I'm, uh, have policy proc, it's GG's. It's GG's. Any foul play will just dump on me. Sucker Punch can do me dirty as well. Definitely do me dirty, but let's see who this guy leads. Let's see who he's rocking out with. Probably Yvelta has a lead with somebody else, right? No, Whimsy and Snorlax. So Kyogre and Bear takes in a while here. I'm gonna Dynamax the Bear. I'm gonna Dynamax the Bear here. I'm gonna drop. I wanna drop Ice so bad. I wanna drop Ice so bad, but I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. We're gonna go into an Orgy Pulse. Go ahead, just Water Spout. Just water Spout. Could drop special defense. Yeah, you know, mm, so tough. It's so tough. I guess we're going to a, a geyser. I do not want to change weather. That's the thing. I mean, if that thing's sashy, sash, we're going to double down into this. Uh, we're going to double down into the Snorlax slot. If he's sash, he's sash. It's all good. It's all good if he's sash. I just can't change up weather. I need I need the Swiss Swimbear to get out and about. It will change up the weather if we're, if we're about to die, but I can't do it right now. I cannot do it right now, especially if this thing's gonna set up a tailwind or something along those lines. So we, we're just rolling out from here. We're doubling down the slacks. We're gonna try to get rid of it. Maybe we can. It's gonna be cutting it close. But Bear Tick gets a Dynamax from us. We're rolling with the off meta. The off meta guy right here. Off meta bear. This thing does set up a tailwind, so that's fine. That is fine. We couldn't really do anything about it unless we led our Solgaleo combo with the Raichu. Water spout's poking. Oh, uh, send it this way, and we get off some lovely damage. And can this geyser take him out? Kinda hoping. Kinda hoping. Guys just flying through here. Send it, baby. Take this thing out, yo, Bear Tick. Do him dirty. You're in the rain here. Let's go, Bear Tick. Big KO from Bear Tick early on here. Snorlax gets no turns. Not one. Not one single turn. Bear Tick's gonna take some life orb damage, and then he's gonna bring out his Pokemon that he wants to die. Right? We we we're reading this guy like a book. This guy, this Pokemon he's bringing out, he's gonna die. Right? It's gotta be. It's gonna be Yvelta, maybe. Could be Yvelta. Could definitely be the Yvelts. See. Or is it going to be Cali? It's going to be Yvelta. Like I said, yo. Yvelta comes out here. Okay. So he's definitely going to Dynamax that thing. I think I just drop Hail from here. I think we just get rolling from here. Water Spout. We're dropping Hail. We're dropping Hail. We're getting off as much damage as we possibly can onto this Pokemon. Now is our time to drop the Hail. Now is our time to drop the Hail. I get he has the Tailwind going, but it's like, dude. If we're going to get off a shot with Bear Tick, it's got to be our hardest shot out there. So we're going to do it. And there's Dynamax. We saw this coming a mile away. So he's Dynamax into Yvelta. Um, I wonder what he's going for here. I wonder what moves he's going for. Hmm. Maybe an Airstream to try to uh, take a little bit more speed with him? I don't know. I do not know. See, I'm just hoping maybe Black Hyrule can outspeed. So his Water Spout can do more damage. Let's see. Memento is coming out. How dare you Memento me? How dare you Memento me? What a good play by him. My attack's going to harshly drop. He's going to kill his own Whimsicott. So Whimsicott goes out for the count. That was a good call by him. He drops a Memento. He's going for Darkness. Please go into Bear Tick. Now he goes into Kyrie. That's rough news. Dude, this Yavelta does some huge damage. Huge damage. is not even... Dude, that's crazy how much damage it just did. That is crazy how much damage it just did. Special Defense is dropping. This thing shows his life orb. Okay, so Orb comes out here. Water Spout. Uh, doing like nothing. <laughs> doing like nothing. Bear Tick's going to go next, and he's going to drop a Hailstorm. Hailstorm flying through here. Our Memento's it's in the trash. Still did good damage. Bear Tick, I'll give it to you all day. That's some great damage, Bear Tick. That was some great damage. I'll give it to Bear Tick all day. All day. Okay, we could swap. Actually, we cannot swap Kyogre. He's going to die here. We just killed our own Kyogre. Buffets, right? Can you eat Kyogre? Nah, he dead. He gone. He a goner. He a goner. 
So this guy's dead. We could bring out a bomb so not too shabby here. Hail's out and about. Blizzard can hit 100% of the time. I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of digging it. Let's see what he brings out on the side here. <sighs> Calyrex. You have a soul vest. We do have a soul vest. I'm going for this blizzard. I feel like we have to go for this blizzard. Blizzard. Go for the darkness. We got to get rid of Yvelta more so than anything. Let's double down on Yvelta. Please do not max guard the same. Nah, there's no way he max guards. He has speed. Yo. This is tough. This is coming down. The wire here. The wire. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I like this turn really like really solidifies the battle right here. This turn is is who wins it, right? He's sitting in such a good position. I feel like he's sitting in a better position than me, even though I have another Pokemon in the back end. The thing is, he has speed right now. It's looking good for him. He goes for a darkness. Go to Bombus now. Bombus, you should be able to eat this. Soul fest up. Love you. A soul fest coming in hot. But is he going for the what's it called? Is he going for the uh the double hitting move? The Astral Barrage. Please do not do that. Astral Barrage. Mmm, tough news. Bear tick survives. Okay, Bear tick survives. I don't like this one bit. Grimnade boosting. Oh <laughs> Bear tick. Bear tick. I need a crit here from me. I need a crit from him. Oh man, get out my face! Get out my face. Okay, uh, what's our play here? We lost. There's no way we win this one, right? Max Darkness comes in, takes us out all day. It takes us out all day. Unless we protect, soak it up, and go into a uh, and Tailwind ends, and then maybe outspeed him next turn. But then he has Sucker Punch. Then this boy has Sucker Punch. This is rough. This is rough. Uh. We have to protect. We have to protect. If not, Max Darkness just comes in hot, takes us out. Right? Yeah, one more turn, Tailwind. Tough news. Here we go for here. Throat chop if we can. Yeah, throat chop if we can. <laughs> We're going for it, but he's just going to Astro Barrage me and take me out. That's GG's, right? That's GG's all day. That's GG's all day. That's rough battle. I knew, I knew this guy had the upper edge. Max Shark just flying through here. That's doing some big damage. Even through the protect. Ready? Oh my lord! The damage. The damage. Life Orb should be able to take him out. Isn't he a Life Orb? Is this she about to Life Orb? There's our policy. Our policy's out and about. It's gorgeous. Is this thing orbed? He was orbed. Okay, he's dead. He gone. He goner. He goner. He's a goner. What's happening now? Astro Barrage comes out here. And I wonder how fast his Calyrex is. What? That Yvelta was flying. Yvelta was faster than him. It says a lot. It says a lot. Beartick goes down here. It says a lot. Okay, uh. So Beartick's out for the count. Grimnay's boosting. It legit comes down to whoever wins the speed tie. But I think Calyrex should be faster than me. Best thing, why was Yvelta so much faster than this Calyrex? Don't understand. Because Yvelta's not that fast. I don't know. I don't know, but we have to go for it. It, it, it comes down to whoever moves here. Sunseal Strike coming out here. Let's do it. We got a policy proc. Solgaleo go first? Come on, Solgaleo. Come on, you're a lion. This thing's a little horse. This thing's a little horse. Ah, we lost this one. <laughs> Astro Barrage comes through. GG's. GG's, man. GG's. Super effective. Gone. That's why I said to be in Solgaleo's going to have a rough time here. Definitely a rough time. And we brought him in at the worst time with Yvelta and Shadow Rider Calyx on the field. We won one battle, we lost two battles. It's all good though, we had ourselves a good old time playing with this team on the rank ladder. Those two losses definitely could have went either way. They came down straight to the wire. That last one came down to uh, Calyrex outspeeding us. And then the first one, wasn't it super close too? I believe it was super close too. I totally forget guys, my memory's going crazy. My memory's going crazy, but there it is guys. Amazing team right here. We got to show off the Bear Tick, the Solgaleo, the Kyogre, Talonflame, Raichu. And we've got a Bombastone in that last battle, even though he got dumped on, but it's all good. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.